What up, IDS Mob? Welcome to Harry Dating Conversations. I'm Harry Wilmington, and today I want to really double down on a concept that I've talked about before, which is that as a generality, all women are the same. And as such, you should treat all women the same as it pertains to dating in reference to your process of asking them out, of making certain moves, but more importantly, of making assumptions about the things that they will or will not be willing to do. Because there's this tendency to believe that if a woman practices a certain religion or she's from a certain part of the world, that she's different and therefore you need to do different things because she's more special than these other women. And I wanted to spell once and for all that that is in fact not a thing. That all women across the board if they have high enough interest in you, will want the same things from you as they wanted from previous guys. It doesn't matter if they come from a more conservative culture or conservative religion or background, it does not matter. As Doc Love famously used to say, high interest level cuts everything. And so to that end, we have a question from a guy that went on two dates with the woman and is kind of kicking himself in the head for not making a move towards the end of the date because she comes from a different location and therefore, because of where she's from, he didn't want to make a move too soon, but he's now wondering if he's missed his shot. By the way, guys, if you want a question of yours answered on one of these shows, leave a comment down below or write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. You can also go to my website, introvertdatingsuccess.com, to check out my eBooks, audiobooks, and programs to help further your dating education. Also, like this video and subscribe to this channel. So, let's get into this guy's comment. So this guy said, Coach, I met a girl and we've gone on three walks, we get along well. However, we have spent about two to three hours each time talking in person, and then in parentheses he says, I know, my bad. And that's referring to, I tell you guys, on first dates, you shouldn't make it longer than 90 minutes because on that first date, we wanna leave her wanting more of your time, and we don't wanna to take too much of it, which then forces her to feel like you're, you, that she has to spend time with you and it can cause her to be turned off. So on a first date, you definitely wanna keep it as short, but like beyond that, typically dates are gonna go about two to three hours depending on if you include like a meal and some kind of activity. So after that first date, that's completely normal. So anyway, he says, two of the times we were in my home for a bit talking and I know I should have made a move last time. When she left last time, she said, quote, let's do this again next week. Can the move still be saved? So I will say this, you know, the fact that she went to your apartment or house at all is already a, should be a huge sign to you that she is comfortable with you and she's probably more than ready to do stuff. Like I get it, maybe on like a first date you're thinking, even if she comes back to your place, it's a fluke. By the way, it is not, women will, talk to their girlfriends and plan a week in advance the outfit they're gonna wear, the perfume they're gonna wear, the makeup they're gonna wear, and how they're gonna laugh at your jokes and smile and talk to you if they like you to where they get the invite back, at which point they're open to do stuff. As the man, it's still your job to know what things you need to be doing to make it as comfortable as possible for things to go down. But yeah, don't think that women don't plan out in advance. If I go over this guy's house and he does the right things, I'm definitely down to do whatever he wants because she's gonna be following your lead. If you don't bring it up, it can't happen. So yeah, like her coming to your house was already a big deal. And the fact that she said, let's do this again, she's already saying, okay, it didn't happen this time, but dude, like get it. I, I, keep, I, I keep suggesting that we go to your place. I'm hoping you're gonna get that this means that we should do some stuff. And so she's trying to really put down some stuff and hope that you're gonna pick up on it. And so this is where being educated in the things that women will do to show you that they're interested really comes in handy because women are rarely gonna be the ones that say, hey, when I come over this time, let's hook up. Or man, this couch is nice, I wanna fill your bedroom. But you might be waiting for the woman to be, take the lead on that. Her part was saying yes, and or suggesting that you guys meet up at your place. So, if I were in this situation, I would have already been on the second time like, okay, this has been the second time she's wanted to come over my place. I gotta at least try some stuff. So, you should have tried some stuff, but she's left the opening possible for another meetup. So, if this meetup occurs and you're wanting to do stuff, understand, there's a high probability she's wanting to do stuff too and is just looking for you to lead that interaction. But this leads to the next sentence where he says, she's from a third world country where it is a little more respectable when dating. 
He says, I know things are insane everywhere, but I know the culture well. Okay, so you are not the first guy to buy into this idea that certain women are special depending upon certain factors. For example, oh, she comes from a Christian home, therefore I don't want to hook up with her right away because she probably wants to wait until she's married. Or oh, she comes from a Muslim country or from the Middle East or wherever. And so I know dating over there, they typically date later. And then usually the families have to meet each other first before any kind of kissing happens. And so I'm going to go by on what I read about in some book and I'm going to make sure that I follow those customs accordingly. And as I've said time and time again, when a woman has high interest level, it does not matter where she's from, what religion she practices, what political beliefs she has. All that's going to matter is that she likes you, she wants to please you, and she's willing to follow your lead in order to know what she needs to do to best keep you around. And this goes to things like kissing, hooking up, etc. Like you're thinking she's different and special. And yet, as you said, she's now agreed to come to your place twice. You say here that... Um, you say, uh, I, I need to escalate next time. I even saw her fixing herself up when I'd look away, but I was in the mindset of like, okay, I'm going in, but I didn't. Ah, yeah. So if she was doing any kind of fixing up on the date. She was preening herself, putting makeup on, readjusting herself, making sure her, her chesticles were upright, putting lip gloss on. These were all passive signals that she was sending to you that was meant to say, hey, I'm down to do some stuff. It depends on what you want to do because you're the guy. You're the one leading it. But you got in your head and bought into the lie that because of X, Y, and Z reason, she's special and needs to be treated differently. I've dated enough to know that the behavior that you're going to give to the slutty girl in order to try to get her in the bed is the same kind of behavior you need to be showing to that Christian girl who seems conservative and in the church because when it comes down to attraction and sexual dynamics, they both want the same thing. The slutty girl wants a hookup and the Christian girl wants a hookup and the Muslim girl wants a hookup and the Republican and Democratic girl want a hookup and all these women want a hookup. It, just like we are prone as men to want to go out there and seek out hookups, women are out there. They're, they're the ones that are getting impregnated. They have to also want a hookup, but they're still going to be following the guy's lead. And so if you're coming to this with prejudgments thinking, well, She's a certain way, so I got to wait like nine or 10 dates before I do anything. You're going to actually lose out on women that were ready to do stuff on date two, but because you have some kind of different vision of what they should be and what they should act like, they're going to feel that and be like, oh, if I, if I do mention one and hook up, he's going to judge me and I don't want that, but I still want to hook up. So now I got to find another guy. And hey, I've been that guy. I was the guy early on. I was a virgin until I was 23. I would tell women I was a virgin. I remember one time I went up, I met this girl and we had met up through a friend of mine. It was her cousin. Had a great time hanging out at the mall. I got her number and said, and she said hey, if I'm in town for, in, in my city where you're going to school, then I will hit you up. I had to go back home for something. I hit her up. We went out. At the end of the date, I am dropping her off at her dorm. And I'm thinking... This girl's already mentioned she's in church. She's really hasn't done a lot of activity. She seems she was laughing at all my jokes and I was funny, but like I just didn't think I had the vision of, you know, women that are really trying to look for a relationship. They don't want to hook up on date one or two. Like that's insane. We had one date. I took her back to her, her dormitory to drop her off. And she says the words to me that I will never forget. Hey, do you want to check out my dorm room? And I'm thinking, I've never seen a girl's dorm room. I'll go check it out. So we go up there, we say hi to her roommates. She takes me into this small freaking room and I'm sitting there on her bed as a 20, 20 year old virgin thinking to myself, literally, what am I supposed to do here? There's this big bed here. We can't do any activities here. You know what? I'm going to go home. Hey, this is great. Well, I'm going to go home. Do, 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 do. And I was about halfway home when I realized, wait, wait, think back, Carrie. She invited you up, took you to the bedroom. Oh, that was it. But because I had this vision of her of being this pure flower that wouldn't dare try to take a virgin boy that she knew about to back to her room to do some stuff with that because I had that vision of her, nothing went down. And after that, she stopped seeing me. So I stress that your, your viewpoint of women, if you're not careful, is always going to be pure. They're pure as snow. They, they're all about really wanting a real relationship and they don't want to have things like sex or hookups, like mess with that. If that is your viewpoint of women, you're going to lose out on a lot of women who they may want the hookup. 
They just don't want to be judged for it. But like, there are more women out there that you've probably end up passing on by accident that would have hooked up with you if only your viewpoint of them wasn't that they were so pure. Because women, this is why we say women don't want to be put on a pedestal because part of that means that you're viewing them in a light where they can do no wrong. And if to them, you thinking they're doing no wrong means that if they hook up with you, that's wrong, then they're going to feel weird for trying to do it with you. And so they won't do it with you. All right. So get the vision out of your head that if a woman's from a certain station in life, that she will or won't do certain things. You know, you find that out, you try stuff. And then in the process of actually trying a thing, they can say to you, Hey, 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 that's a little too far for right now. Right? So if you'd have started making out with this woman and then feeling on her and then trying to take off her clothes, maybe she would have stopped it. Like, okay, I'm in my bra, but this is as far as I want to go. Fine. At least you would have tried and you would have known what her limit was versus preemptively putting a limit on her. And that's what guys in general need to stop doing. We need to stop taking whatever our moral high ground is and assuming that that's what the woman's moral high ground is and then saying, oh, you know what? She probably wants to not have a hookup of any kind. So I'm going to not start anything because you don't know if she was sitting there like, if he just said, hey, you want to check out my bedroom? I'd be all over him, but you're afraid to try. So try some stuff. Don't be afraid of getting a slight rejection of a move you're trying to make. It's better to get a slight rejection than to do nothing and then miss out on potential chances. The last part of this guy's message, he says, I wanted to build up the anticipation like Doc Love said. So Doc Love used to say, you want to make sure that you're building up anticipation with the woman. You want to go a bit slower with women when you're trying to attract them. And hey, at the end of the day, I say this, if you yourself weren't actually comfortable yet making this step to go to the bedroom, I don't fault you. As I've said on the show before, I've taken it where I've gone like one or two dates. I've taken it one or two months before I hooked up with somebody, depending on what I felt was best for that situation. So this is not a judgment call on whatever your decision is. But if you're making the decision in lieu of her thinking, well, I need to just preemptively decide that we're not going to hook up because I know it's not what she wants. You don't know that that's not what she wants. You think that that's what she doesn't want because of whatever her station in life is. And again, that could all be in your head. This is why, again, I say, if you're actually wanting to do stuff, then you try stuff to get towards that. And then along the way, she can tell you what level she's comfortable with and you just stop whenever she's not comfortable. And sometimes you'll be surprised at how much you can get away with to where they're not uncomfortable at all with you. But if you don't at least try, and if you're just staying stuck in your head about this ideal that you have about the woman that you're with, then yeah, you're going to be annoyed. You're going to make her annoyed and she's going to head for the hills. All right. So all that to say, she's saying she wants to do something again next week. If she comes over next week to your place, try some stuff. If you need help on what those things should be, I got books and programs at introvertdatingsuccess.com that you can check out that will help you immensely. It's stuff that I've tried time and time again to be able to get hookups within a short amount of time, all right? But you should also always be reading where the woman's at, like in a realistic way, not something you're projecting onto her, but like you try a touch, you see what her reaction is and then say, okay, based on her reaction, I'll go further or I won't. Don't just be sitting there like, well, I know if I touch her, she'll probably react this way, so I'm not going to. Again, you don't know that. So hopefully this helps you out. For the rest of you, if you have your own questions, questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Also, if you're going through a situation and want my help, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching at introvertdatingsuccess.com along with my various eBooks and programs that are available. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.